Chinese scientists have developed a comprehensive mission to study asteroids. One of its targets could be the asteroid Apophis. The asteroid Apophis has a diameter of 375 meters. On April 13, 2029, it will make a close flyby of Earth, passing at a distance of 32,000 kilometers from its surface, i.e. inside the orbits of geostationary satellites. At that moment, the asteroid will be visible to the naked eye across most of Europe and Africa, as well as in some parts of Asia. The encounter with Earth is expected to affect the asteroid and cause landslides and shifts on it. According to scientists' estimates, such large objects approach Earth on average once every 5,000 to 10,000 years. It is not surprising that a POFIS visit has attracted increased attention, and a number of countries and space agencies are considering options for sending missions to it. Currently, ESA and JAXA are working on the Ramses spacecraft, while NASA is focusing on the OSIRIS Apex mission, which previously studied the asteroid Bennu. Chinese scientists do not intend to miss such a rare opportunity, and are also working on their own mission. It has been named Crown Apophis and is part of a larger project called Crown, which aims to launch six different probes to study near-Earth objects in heliocentric orbits similar to those of Venus. The main task of Crown Apophis will be to measure the fundamental properties of this potentially dangerous asteroid and the consequences of its approach to Earth. The goal of the project is to observe the processes that will occur on the surface of Apophis and how it interacts with Earth's magnetosphere. CROWN, Apophis will consist of two spacecraft. The larger one, weighing 44 kilograms, will use a combined chemical and ion propulsion system and will be equipped with cameras, a microwave rangefinder, Doppler system, and low-frequency radar. The 8 kilograms CubeSat will be equipped with some of the same systems as the main spacecraft. The devices are proposed to be launched as accompanying cargo as part of a mission that has not yet been determined. After that, they will fly to the L1 Lagrange point of the Sun-Earth system where they will wait for Apophis to arrive. They will make a close flyby of the asteroid shortly after it visits the vicinity of our planet. This will happen on April 13, 2029. Apophis. Discovered in June 2004, the asteroid is approximately 350 meters in diameter and about 27 million tons. For a few weeks, the scientific community was concerned about a possible impact with our Earth in April 2029. However, only for a few weeks, as archival data, as early as December 2004, showed that a collision was highly unlikely. New data collected since then, including during Apophis's passage just 17 million kilometers from Earth, on March 6, 2021, has allowed astronomers to refine its orbit. Scientists have ruled out any collision risk for at least the next century. The collision is not the only possibility in close approach events like this, explains Gabriel Berdier's Mata, a researcher at the University of Madrid, Spain, in a statement. The gravitational interaction between a planet and a body like Apophis can alter the shape of the 952FC6765592. Title equals formatted text for TTS.MD. Content type equals text markdown greater than body. Break it into pieces, disintegrate any detached rocks on the asteroid's surface, or even eliminate other bodies orbiting the asteroid, rocks, satellites, or rings. With his team, he analyzed the physical characteristics of Apophis, its shape, gravitational field, and the factors that could influence its trajectory and angle of approach. Radiation pressure, for example, or disturbances caused by its close passages to Earth, researchers conducted a series of numerical simulations to understand how objects, primarily particles in orbit around Apophis, might be affected by a close approach to our planet. In the first scenario, they considered only gravitational disturbances. In the second scenario, they included disturbances due to solar radiation pressure. All simulations were run in 24-hour periods over 30 years, with a variable density of objects in orbit. 
The conclusion is that the asteroid's angle of incidence appears more significant for a low density of objects in orbit, 4, than for a high density, 2. Furthermore, when the density of particles decreases and solar radiation pressure increases, these objects in orbit struggle to remain intact. Ultimately, in a scenario where Apophis has a low density, approximately 90% of the rocks detached from its surface would be stripped away during its approach to Earth. The researchers also show that Apophis's approach could have minimal impact on tides and cause a few landslides on the asteroid surface. Astronomers now hope to take advantage of Apophis's close passage to our planet in 2029 to refine their models and better predict, in the future, the effects that close approaches of asteroids, in general, might have. New observations of the asteroid Apophis rule out any risk of impact for at least a century. After 17 years of observations and orbital analyzes, the asteroid has consequently been removed from the list of potential impactors. The asteroid Apophis, approximately 350 meters in diameter, has regularly made headlines since its discovery in 2004, due to the low but non-zero risks it posed of colliding with Earth in the following decades. Shortly after its detection, astronomers predicted two impact risks in 2029 and 2036. Additional observations of the near-Earth object fortunately excluded these risks. Until recently, there remained a small risk of impact in 2068. New radar observations of Apophis were conducted in early March by NASA's Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex in California and the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia. These provided sufficient data on the asteroid's orbit to finally rule out, with certainty, any impact on Earth for at least 100 years. These latest observations were possible because the asteroid passed within about 17 million kilometers of Earth. On March 6th, just 44 times the Earth-Moon distance. Although the asteroid was still relatively distant, astronomers were able to accurately measure its distance and refine its orbit before its next very close approach in 2029. The positions and orbits of planets are mapped with extreme precision, but for smaller objects like asteroids, there's often more uncertainty, especially when observations are limited. To make things even more complex, when an asteroid passes near a massive object like a planet, its trajectory is deflected and any existing uncertainty in its path increases. Before the latest radar measurements of Apophis, its orbit was known well enough to predict a series of close passages without risk over the coming decades. The next and closest will occur on Friday, April 13, 2029, when Apophis will pass 38,000 kilometers from Earth center. 32,000 kilometers from its surface and be visible to the naked eye. The asteroid will then be 10 times closer than the moon, closer than geostationary satellites at an altitude of 36,000 kilometers. Davide Farnokia of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, CNEOS, explains that, thanks to recent optical and radar observations, the uncertainty in Apophis's orbit has decreased from hundreds of kilometers to just a few kilometers when projected out to 2029. These radar observations have reduced the uncertainty in Apophis's trajectory to such an extent that any risk of impact in 2068 or long afterward has been excluded. Consequently, Apophis has been removed from the ESA's and NASA's lists of risky objects. The discovery of Apophis and the initial work done to track and understand its orbit occurred when today's planetary defense activities were still in their infancy, explains Juan Luis Cano of the ESA's Near-Earth Object Coordination Center. The fact that this happened at such an early stage in the discipline was a strong motivation to improve our capabilities to accurately predict the movement of these interesting and potentially dangerous objects. With Apophis being removed from the risk list today, we are closing a very instructive chapter in the history of planetary defense. Almost everyone has heard of Apophis, the asteroid roughly the size of the Eiffel Tower, that will pass close to the Earth in 2029 without any collision risks, according to astronomers' calculations.
However, recent observations have led researchers to reassess the potential risks for its 2068 approach. Since astronomers discovered in 2004 that Apophis 99942 Apophis is a potentially dangerous asteroid expected to pass very close to Earth in 2029, 2036, 2068, 2085, and 2088, according to their calculations. The celestial body of about 340 meters in diameter has become famous worldwide. When Apophis passes approximately 31,860 kilometers above Earth on Friday, April 13, 2029, a date that surely adds to its notoriety, it will be visible to the naked eye as it moves across the sky. Researchers confirm that there is virtually no risk of impact with Earth. Thankfully, because if it were on a direct collision course, it could cause significant regional damage. However, NASA experts confirm there is no risk of impact in 2029, 2036, or 2068. During the Division for Planetary Sciences meeting of the American Astronomical Society, ASAFA, which was recently held virtually with the research community, Davide Farnokia from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, presented his latest calculations of Apophis's trajectory. These take into account the recent discovery of a slight Yarkovsky acceleration effect, observed by colleagues at the Japanese Subaru Observatory in Hawaii. This effect, related to thermal radiation, is very weak and almost imperceptible, but still sufficient to require scientists to revise their calculations. Declared Dave Tholen from the Institute for Astronomy, AFA, at the University of Hawaii, who led the observations. There's no need to panic astronomers will refine their calculations based on future observations of the asteroid's behavior. They assure us that long before Apophis 2068 approach, we'll know for certain whether it poses any threat. Stay tuned. Fresh updates from global space agencies heighten the drama, transforming this asteroid from a distant speck into a pivotal character in humanity's epic saga of exploration and survival. NASA's Osiris Apex, that intrepid voyager repurposed from its Bennu Triumph, has already braved its second perihelion pass in January, scorching close to the sun's fiery embrace, yet emerging unscathed, its instruments primed for the ultimate rendezvous. Four more solar trials await before it dances with Apophis post flyby ready to witness the gravitational tug of war that could reshape the rock's very essence, landslides, cascading like tears across its cratered face, debris scattering into the void. Can you feel the resilience in this machine, a mirror to our own unyielding spirit? Across the Pacific, China's Crown Apophis mission surges forward with renewed vigor. Just weeks ago, on September 9th, Scientists unveiled plans for a Pathfinder spacecraft to execute a daring flyby during the 2029 encounter, capturing the asteroid's turmoil in exquisite detail. Integrated into the ambitious Crown Swarm 6 probes probing Venus-like orbits, this duo of craft, the stalwart 44 kg leader and its nimble 8 kg CubeSat companion, will linger at L1 then pounce to measure magnetic whispers and surface quakes. But China's vision doesn't stop at observation. They're forging ahead with a kinetic impact demonstration, testing deflection techniques that could one day shield us from Apophis's kin, turning fear into fortified hope. It's a bold stroke, evoking the raw emotion of a nation rising to meet the stars, not as conquerors, but as stewards of Earth's fragile legacy. Meanwhile, Europe's ES oppresses on with Ramses, the rapid response sentinel set for a 2028 launch, now bolstered by potential JSF elaboration via an H-3 rocket. Funding hangs in the balance at November's Ministerial Council, but the stakes couldn't be higher, arriving February 2029 to escort Apophis through its earthly waltz, deploying Kubisats to probe its innards and surface before, during, and after the chaos. Imagine the thrill two billion souls gazing skyward as this god of chaos blazes across continents, a spectacle uniting us in awe and urgency.
Recent brushes with lesser asteroids like 2025 FA22 remind us of the constant vigil. But Apophis? It's our wake-up call, stirring the soul with the promise of discovery. These missions aren't cold calculations. They're passionate pleas to understand, to prepare, to prevail. As Apophis hurdles nearer, let's cling to this emotional odyssey, the fear that sharpens our focus, the wonder that ignites our dreams. In the shadow of this cosmic wanderer, we find not doom, but destiny, forging bonds across borders and generations. The stars beckon. Will we answer with hearts aflame?